Whenever you're ready. Yeah, let me just get my visual aid. Okay. So when I start out my tuning method, right, I like to first find the F sharp note on the string. Okay, but before you start, you're gonna teach us how to tune a guitar? Very quickly, very quickly. No, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I like to start out by finding the F sharp note on the lowest string. Because once I'm there, I can just move up, find A, which is the next string. Then move that up. Oh, by the next string. Move that up. The next, the next, and then the last. But granted, tuning by ear is very hard unless you have a learning ear. More or less, you're born with a tuned ear like Mozart was. Not a lot of people are born with it, unfortunately. I know I wasn't. But throughout time, you learn it. The reason I start out with F sharp though is because it's one of the root notes my favorite song, if not the first song I ever learned on guitar, which is... guitar around seventh grade almost 10 years ago most of the music that influenced my playing or that got me into playing was 80s music whether it be rock or glam metal stuff like Twisted Sister or uh, Skid Row or even um, what are they called? Uh, Guns N' Roses recognize the song because they played that in Thor, Love, and Thunder. And I found myself getting more into 80s music and more into guitar as an instrument, which led me to finding even more, I'd say more technical, but also more skilled bands that focus heavily on speed, specifically thrash metal, like uh, bands like Metallica. <laughs> Even one of my favorite bands, uh, Exodus. But after a while, I got tired of my home being the first three low strings. So I started trying to venture out more and get into soloing a little bit. With one of the first solos I ever learned being one of my favorite songs by Skid Row, 18 in Life. And even still, I felt like I needed to learn more, so I started messing around with even slightly more mellow songs like It's a little more climatic, but I kind of like the build-up.
just as sudden as that solo ended, high school, middle school ended, and high school came around the corner, unfortunately. And everything I had learned up until that point in middle school was just wiped clean because I wasn't even gonna be able to play electric guitar. Everything was just gonna be classical. So I was learning more, learning more clean stuff, but also more, more technical and complicated songs like one of my favorite songs being um, Leyenda by Isaac Albanese. But I wouldn't say learning classical guitar throughout my four years of high school was a negative thing, as it did help. It did help, I say, my guitar playing or even just my expertise grow more with experimenting with different styles and different playing techniques. And I like to take little things here and there that I learned, excuse me, and apply it to everything that I do when I play. And on top of that, when um, around junior and senior year of high school came, my professor started allowing us to write our own pieces. And I wrote three songs total. Only two of them actually got to record because the last one, the group was just way too big and we just could not find the time to record, unfortunately. But I was able to record two songs with my friends, Gabriel, Austin, and my boy, Ethan. One of them is a, I think we call it Kaleidoscope. We had another one called, it's in a different tuning, but I can still kind of play it. I think it's called Recollections. It was kind of a demo as we never really perfected the recording, I'd say, but. So high school definitely was a real turning point, but also I feel like a growing point for my guitar playing. And unfortunately, after high school, because high school doesn't last forever, the weight of the real world and real life hit me like a truck. And I just could not find the time to play. If I did, it was probably once every four months. 